It started yesterday with a very simple press release by Lufthansa Group. Lufthansa reactivates Airbus A380. First flights are expected from summer 2023. I will give you some news about the new 380 launch or relaunch. And of course, what are the destinations, rumors about the cabin, everything you need to know for your next A380 ride in summer 2023 and following. My name is Lars and I'm here to bring you more miles, more points and more status. Today, of course, aviation news as well. Like always, I ask you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, the bell, and do not forget to comment and leave us a like. Thank you for doing so. Lufthansa released yesterday that they are reactivating the Airbus A380. That was something in the industry was uh, kind of a secret because since weeks the people of Lufthansa Technik are checking in Spain, in Teruel, for example, how this A380 is in the deep storage. The airline expects the use of the long-haul aircraft, which is popular with customers, that is what they how they phrase it, and crews again from 2023. The company is currently assessing how many A380s will be reactivated and which destinations the Airbus will fly to. Lufthansa still has 14 Airbus A380, but and that is uh, very important. Six of them are sold. Eight A380s remain part of the Lufthansa fleet for the time being. Of course, they will not find anyone who is going to, to buy this. But let us return 12, sorry, 13 years, 13 years ago, 2009, we had the green A380 rolling out in Toulouse with the Lufthansa logo on the back. But, Uh, a lot of things changed. It was written that they ordered for 15. I only found 14 orders in the end. Maybe one was canceled, no idea. Maybe like in the 747, they wanted to have an aircraft which was in the testing. And uh, in the 747-8 program, they just refused the aircraft. So maybe they did the same here as well. But uh, the aircraft was named Frankfurt. The first registration was, of course, a Delta Alpha India Mike Alpha. And I remember it like yesterday when I was in Frankfurt in the hangar when they introduced the aircraft with the new first class and already in 2010, I think it was, the monitors were too small. They was <laughs> and too pixely. But again, that is history. And uh, when the aircraft rolled out, uh, it was a big step for Lufthansa, of course. The 380 fleet got uh, very popular among the customers. I don't know if the crew were so happy with it because I heard from crew as well that this aircraft is a lot to walk, a lot to work, so it's not their favorite aircraft to work on. 
But anyways, the airline deployed the aircraft to New York, to Singapore. There were destinations I flew myself to San Francisco. Then I did, I think, Los Angeles as well on the 380. But um, what to say in the end, um, this aircraft was uh, left behind because um, after the initial enthusiasm for the 380, uh, it died out fast in the Lufthansa group. Um, like for many airlines, it was just too big. The production delays and cost meant, meant even for Airbus that the A380 program would never be really taking off. And so they even stopped producing it last year. Last A380 went to Emirates. This one was displayed on the um, ILA where I've been last week in Berlin and uh, Tim Clark did send the aircraft for six days there to get, of course, um, more traction for his uh, ambitions to fly from Dubai to Berlin. But the German government said, we don't fly. But Tim Clark, and that is the last time I saw him, said, like always, the European airlines and Lufthansa in particular didn't do anything spectacular like Emirates did. The most spectacular thing, and that is something <laughs> I still have to laugh about, is the pissoir in the 380. It's the only flying pissoir in the world. The women asked for it, the men got it. So that is what the innovation was at Lufthansa for this aircraft. Let us have a look on the configuration for all of you who are not so familiar with this aircraft. Um, there, I have to say the following thing. Um, they have eight first class seats in a one to one configuration, uh, 78 business class seats in a two to two configuration, 52 premium economy seats in a two for two configuration, and last but not least, 371 economy class seats in a three for three configuration. The um, numbers are, in my opinion, kind impre of impressive. And when you see the aircraft, you have to say that is wow. But inside, it's not so wow. And Lufthansa is thinking about doing a retrofit. Retrofit is what the industry calls uh, it when old airline aircraft, old, airlines, old aircraft, getting the old seats removed and getting a new interior. And Lufthansa is thinking of getting the new first class interior, new business class, maybe the even the premium economy and economy class. But this said, when this is coming, yeah, then this will be not an operation they do just for one, two years. That will be something where the airline has to use the aircraft for a longer period of time. Despite that, um, the reasons, I mean the 777X is a delay, so they need it. Uh, maybe Boeing is paying some money that uh, Lufthansa can get the numbers in order. And a lot of people of you said, hey, can they not calculate the aircraft are full? But Lufthansa needs 1,000 cabin crew and cockpit to operate this aircraft. Six plus two, six flying, two as spare. And uh, this is something which is absolutely uh, incredible. And this is what you cannot do within just two or three days. So they, the aircraft will be flying in 2023 and not earlier. Um, then the uh, first class footprint was maybe a reason as well, because when you see how many uh, first class jets have been removed from service, they had to get them back. And uh, Lufthansa's um, a first class footprint, especially in Munich, is low. And now we have some uh, town hall uh, meeting news from Singapore. There were some interesting points. There was one point that uh, Singapore will be flown by a 747-8 again in winter. But the next thing is um, stronger focus on Asia. Asia Pacific. Uh, Eurowings Discover is maybe flying to Kakuta, Hyderabad and or Vietnam, which will be viewed most carefully. But now comes the topic 380. 380 uh, is going six aircrafts from Munich and Asia routes. So if you want to be flying in, a two, uh, 20, uh, in 2023 or, and on in a 380, be prepared, Munich, Southeast Asia, that are the destinations. I think that this aspect is very interesting and that is something which we should keep in mind. 
Um, what else should we say about the 380? The 380 is, of course, a magnificent aircraft. The aircraft needs special ground operations. We remember uh, when airlines uh, had to ask airports to get 380 certified. And even now, a day's 380 operation is a nightmare because some airports are too small. Tim Clark said it already that people will regret, especially in the industry, that the 380 is gone, that there is no aircraft of this size. Why? Because you need two and a half 787-9er to, um, yeah, to compensate the 380. And now we go to capacity restraints airport like uh, London, Sydney, you name it. And even airports like Schiphol in Amsterdam are reducing the flight operations from 500,000 takeoffs and landing to 440,000 in 2024. So when this happens, you need bigger aircraft with capacity. And the biggest aircraft would be the 351,000, 777X something. So, or the 787. Uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult to say um, what the airlines should do. For us, it will be meaning in the long run that flying will be more expensive because like always, if something gets uh, uh, high in demand, but there's low in low supply, the price is increasing. You know the, the drill. And um, for that reason, I hope that the um, manufacturers will consider maybe a new aircraft. Maybe there's a future for the 380 in another version. I don't know, maybe Boeing is doing something, but even the 747 as a passenger version is dead. Only a freighter is still in production. The last one will be uh, uh, ready produced, I think end of this year, next year. So we will see what happens, but that is a cargo version. Anyways, let us enjoy the good news that aviation for Lufthansa fans got a little bit more interesting again with the 380. And um, thank you for watching Frequent Traveler TV in the today's episode. I hope the pictures I gave you and the pictures you saw made you more interested in flying with the 380. And uh, I, for myself, I have to say, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward, if you're going to subscribe to the channel, leave us a like and hit the notification button, the bell, to be notified when there's a new episode coming. And most importantly, comment, because that is what we are living for and where we have the dialogue. Especially yesterday, I had a lot of talks about the in the comment section or in the WhatsApp section of the German version of this um, channel. And uh, people said, yeah, 380 coming, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Um, looking forward to your comments and what you think about it. Thank you and see you tomorrow for the next episode of Frequent Traveler TV Takeoff. Thank you, bye.